Hey there, and welcome to the Jim Bob Drawing Show, where we draw cartoons and art just for fun. My name is Bobby Chu. And I'm Jim Bryson. All right, hey Jim, ready for another two jars, one drawing? You know it. All right, what do we have this week? Sexy sea creature. Sexy sea creature, all right, let's do this. This one was tough, man. Sexy sea creature. Those two things don't go together. Yeah, well, I see what you're doing here. It's kind of like a seahorse. Sexy seahorse. I guess I was just thinking something with some curves to it. And I was trying to think of the kind of sea creatures that might have those kind of feminine curves. A fun thing to look up is seahorse giving birth on YouTube. Oh yeah? It's crazy. It will just squirt out a ton of little babies every time and just keep squirting them out. They are live birth or is it eggs? No, they're live. They're all swimming around and stuff, the little seahorses. Oh wow. Huh. That's weird. I'll look that up. I've never seen that before. It's either the male seahorse is the one that actually holds all the eggs and gives birth to all the little seahorses, or it takes care of the babies once they come out. Oh, okay. And this is another Jim Bob drawing show fact, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt because we are literally just kind of <laughs> just talking. Just making it up as we go along. So as I was painting this in the computer, the idea that I wanted to do here was just something that looked a lot more, you know, 2D animated. So what I did was I selected everything except for the male seahorse and made that one selection. And then I selected just the male seahorse as a different selection, saved it in my channels so that I can easily go to either one and start working on them. Cool. So when I chose what colors the lines would be, it was kind of based on the general colors of the creatures themselves. So for example, the lobsters are red, so then I made the lines dark red, green for the eel, and so on and so forth. The one kind of special stuff was the eel's uh, lines for the electricity, and for the fins, I made them lighter than the color that I was filled in with. In general, if you were coloring the lines, it seems like if you go with a darker color, it makes the object look more solid. Whereas if you use a lighter color, then it looks a little bit more delicate or translucent in a way. Absolutely. And you also really notice the overall shape of the thing a lot more, right? Mm -hmm. If it's like really contrasty with jet black lines, then you notice the lines a lot more. And that's pretty much it. So we hope you liked the video. And if you did, definitely remember to subscribe to our channel. And then you want to press the notification button. That way you will get instant notifications of the next time we put up a new video, which will be next Thursday and every Thursday. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.